and now two chapters on intents. Two chapters because it's a key concept. It's what you're going to use when you will want to go from one page to another page in your application. So basically from one activity to another activity. It's the same thing you're going to use when you will want to access one of the features, one of the services of the Android phone or its operating system. For example, sending an email. And it's also the same concept you're going to use to reuse some existing code. So basically to access one of the activities or services of a third party application. Now let's go. I've created a new project and I've just opened the first activity. We'll want to create a very simple application with only three buttons. The first one will bring us to the image gallery of the phone. The second to the call history and the third to the contact book of the phone. Let's go right now in main.xml to draw this application, which I already did to save some time. So you see the three buttons. So you've seen that many times already. Those three buttons are in a linear layout. And here are our three buttons with field parents for the layout width, wrap content for the layout height. Uh, so I gave the following names for the buttons, my gallery button, my call log button, and my contact book button. And the texts are gallery, call log, and contact book, of course. So this is what my application will look like. It's not necessarily very sexy, but it's going to be enough. Now, back in the Java, we're going to create those three button objects. So the first one, button. So the first one is my gallery button. So it's going to be a button and I will use find view by ID providing r.id.mygallery button. So you have, you have already seen that many times. I'm importing the missing classes and uh, with cut and paste I'm going to create the two other buttons. So for the second, we said my call log button. My, here it is. And for the third one, we've said my contact book button. R.id. Here it is contact book button. Now I will create my first listener. So my gallery button dot set on click listener. So it's a new button listener button dot on click listener. Nothing really new here. I will go and ask the system to add the unimplemented methods. Only one, of course, and it's a non-click method. And here we're going to create our very first intent. Let's see an intent as a message, a message that will go from an activity to another one. First, it will go to the Android operating system that will uh, push it, push it to the corresponding activity. So intent. I will call it my intent equal new intent no parameter here but it's a message it needs some uh, content okay let me import the uh, intent class so this intent needs some content and we are going to provide an action and we're going to provide data so let's let's do that my intent dot set action. So what we want to do here is uh, go to the, in the picture gallery and uh, basically see the pictures. So no need, to, no need to delete, no need to reorder, just viewing the images. So intent dot and here you see a bunch of different actions and we say that we only want to view so let's find it or let's type it. 
action view and now what do we want to view that's the data so let's do my intent intent dot set data and we're going to use the Android API Android dot provider dot media store dot images dot media dot internal content URI because here when you do a set data you need to provide a new URI let me save and let me run now let's see what it's doing now it's it's running I will click on gallery um, one two three apparently uh, no reaction this is just because I've created an intent but I'm not using it yet so we're going to do a start activity because we really want an, another activity to take the control of the phone so start activity and my intent of course let me save delete this and let's try again so the installation of the application it's starting I click on gallery and now yes I'm currently in the gallery activity of uh, the Android phone that is saying that I don't have any pictures to share with you today let's go back to the menu and now we're going to code the two other buttons I will just do a, a cut and paste two times so the third button is going to be the call log button and the third button is going to be the contact book button if I choose the call log, a call log button here is just to show you that setting the data is not necessarily mandatory sometimes it doesn't mean anything here we just want to go to the Android phone calling features exactly as we were pushing the call button so here's going to be action call button that's very simple and now for the contact book the action will still be view we will not want to modify anything and for the data same thing let's find a pointer in the Android API so Android dot provider dot I see contacts that looks good dot people dot and here are the set of pointers and I'll use content URI I'm saving and let's uh, run that guy see what it's doing it's installing it's starting and here we go so I can still go in gallery I didn't break it now back on the menu I click on call log and I see that I received two, two calls recently back and let's go the to the contact book where I apparently have absolutely no entry in the simulator that's gonna be it for this chapter was a quick introduction on intents in the next chapter we're going to see how we're going to interconnect your activities.